For two or three day mountain bike trips, the, the key thing is to take the least amount of gear you can get away with safely. This means omitting a few comforts, but it's well worth it in the long run because riding heavily laden is just no fun at all. First off, be safe and do not skimp on your emergency kit. You could easily be a day's ride away from help. Be prepared to turn back if things are not going to plan. Make sure that your bike is in top mechanical condition before you go. Ride well within your abilities. If you have a crash in the middle of nowhere, it might be a long time before you get help. Do not rely on mobile phones for emergencies as uh, the coverage can be patchy. So the best way to carry your gear is in a lightweight pack of about 25 to 30 litres, like the Osprey Escapers 30. Panniers are okay for touring, but don't cut the mustard on technical tracks. Dry bags strapped to a frame or a freeload rack can be helpful though. Tents and sleeping mats are, are best avoided. Uh, if you can, base your trip around huts. In the summertime, you can get away with a, a 150 to a 300 gram sleeping bag. In the wintertime, you need a bit more warmth, so more like uh, up to 500 grams for the, the sleeping bag. Uh, if you're going in the middle of winter uh, and need a bit more warmth, packing a lightweight down jacket can give you the, the extra you need for a cold night. What to pack? With New Zealand's changeable weather, it's a good idea to pack uh, plenty of warm clothes and your wet weather gear. Pack thermal gear such as the Daddy Long Legs uh, or a, a merino top such as the Burglar uh, as your base layers. Uh, a thermal top such as a Frosty Boy as a mid layer. Your wind, windproof and waterproof gear, a jacket like the Anti-Cyclone or the Stormtrooper. And uh, our other wet weather favourites are the Helter Skelters, the three quarter rain pants that keep your, your bum nice and dry when you're out there in the wet. So. Uh, a beanie for your head, keep your noggin warm. Uh, warm gloves, keep those fingers warm on the frosty mornings or really cold rainy days. Uh, and nice th thermal warm socks to keep the, the toes going. Where our merino wool is great in, in wet weather and, and cold weather. So, a single riding top and uh, a single pair of shorts. Uh, usually good to keep you going. You can wash uh, your undercarriage in the evenings to, to make sure that you don't get any saddle sores. Take plenty of food along, uh, and if going somewhere dodgy, take a water filter as well. Carry energy dense foods like uh, muesli, scroggin, rice and pasta. Uh, keep some of the, the food handy in your pack during the day if you need to top up your energy. Check whether the huts have uh, pots and cookers. Uh, if they don't, pack accordingly. You might uh, need a, a cooker and, and billy set. And if you need more information on what food to take along, head along to the Ground Effect website and look at the Art of Food and Bikes for a, a few more suggestions. So you should take along a repair kit for your bike. Things like a, a good multi-tool so that can fix all the bits on your bike pump in case you get any punctures, puncture repair kit and a tube, it's good to take both along. Uh, extra spares such as zip ties, um, a spare derailleur hanger, um, maybe a spare spoke uh, are really handy if you get out uh, in the middle of nowhere and break something. Uh, and uh, if you get caught out after dark, a small head torch can be a really handy thing to get you places and is also handy in the hut at night. So you also need a repair kit for your body, so uh, a first aid kit is essential. Um, Make sure you've got painkillers, uh, bandages, uh, emergency survival blanket, um, anti-inflammatories, antihistamines, all the good stuff. Having current first aid knowledge is always a good thing. Make sure that somebody in your, your team has, uh, has the knowledge and uh, first aid kits and, and repair kits can be shared between the, the team members to, to make sure that you've got enough to keep everybody going but not everybody has to carry everything. So between the group you should also take a map and a compass and know how to use it, that's always a good thing. Having a GPS can be really handy if you're, you're not so hot on that and, and need to know exactly where on the map you are or if you're going somewhere that uh, your travel is uh, a bit harder to pinpoint. Having an emergency beacon, uh, an EPIRB, uh, is great insurance should uh, an accident or something occur.